Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can trigger a durable function workflow from an external event. So for that, I'm going to create a new function app. And here I'm going to select durable function orchestration like this and I'm going to click create. All right, as you can see, we have a brand new durable function. We have this HTTP trigger already built in to trigger our workflow. And then we have our workflow and that workflow invokes few functions here. I'm going to clean these up to do our thing. So I'm going to clear everything here and I'm not returning anything from my um, orchestrator. Now, I believe you have an understanding of what durable functions are. So basically with these functions, you can easily wait for external events. No thread is halt. All right, let's see. I want to get a parameter when this function is approved. Let's call it approved. And I'm going to await on this context dot wait for an external event. And this event should return a Boolean value like this. And I'm going to call it approval like this. And if this has been approved, I want, I want this durable function to print a message and um, otherwise it should print that as well. And for that, I'm going to introduce this activity function like this. Um, it's basically printing a message on the screen and I'm going to invoke it from this durable function here. And I'm going to paste it here as well and then I'm going to change this to no like this. All right, our durable function is ready now. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a another HTTP trigger that will raise the event um, of approval to my workflow. So for that, I'm going to introduce another HTTP trigger like this. So let me copy and paste it here. So basically it is no different than this HTTP trigger. Um, so basically what I'm doing is I am reading this instance ID. As you can see, when this workflow gets created, it will return an instance ID. So basically all these durable function workflows have an instance ID. So to complete the approval, I need that instance ID. Because of that, I'm getting that instance ID from this HTTP endpoint that I'm creating to approve the workflow. And after that, I'm going to invoke this raise event async in this client object and the event name is approval as you can see that is the name that we have applied here and then and we're going to just pass in hard-coded message for now but you can get it from the http request as well so now let me run this and show you how it works we have two http functions as you can see we have this function workflow starter and then we have our approval endpoint so first i'm going to invoke this endpoint here first i'm going to invoke this um, this HTTP endpoint here to start our workflow and after that I'm going to invoke this to continue workflow execution by approving the workflow. Now let me copy this and I'm going to open my postman as you can see and I'm going to paste it here. So let me execute this function. All right. As you can see, I have just received few information and one of them is the instance ID. There are many ways for you to find this instance ID. So basically um, we have executed. So now basically we have started the workflow. Um, the next thing that I'm going to show you is how you can approve it. So for that, I'm going to copy this endpoint here and I'm going to paste it in the next tab of postman and I'm going to change this get to post like this and after that I'm going to change the body to raw message like this and the next thing that I should do is I'm going back to the first tab and I'm going to copy this instance ID of that workflow and then I'm going to paste it here because that is how we are receiving it um, as you can see, we are just reading the whole message, whole body of the uh, of the HTTP request, and then we are raising that event. So I'm going back to my postman. Let me raise this event. All right. As you can see, we are seeing the message. You said yes because we have approved the workflow, and this is how you trigger a durable function workflow from an external event. Hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave down below. 
And if you want to be updated with my future videos that I'm planning to do, please subscribe and thanks for watching.